What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this. T, we are about to get into um, Jordan. Jordan Lacey, a.k.a. one of the FOE members. A FOE is Jazz Jordan and them group, child. Um, it was alleged that, uh, what's his name? Um, Flo beat up Jordan, or then it was alleged that he got jumped by some girls. Girl, I don't know. I'm like, how he get jumped by girls? He's six feet tall. He's over six feet tall. How is this happening? Uh, but women are sticking together these days. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> we about to find out, though. Let's get into it. So, man, I'm really about, about to just be honest about everything, as y'all can see, uh, about what uh, a T page has posted and shit, which is the title is Cap. You feel me? I'm just start there. Nobody got nothing touched. You feel me? This narrative that everybody running with, and I understand niggas trying. To Wait a minute! You said nobody got touched, as he has this big ass band aid on his head. Okay. To get views, get clicks, so they gonna name it whatever. But that's not the case. You feel me? Ain't nobody getting shit touched around here. Ain't nobody get touched by flow by nobody he with. And I'm just being one hundred. But what happened last night was shit. It was my birthday, as y'all know. We had a section. And the whole FOE was there. My, my personal friends, my FOE, my family, because of everything. We just having a good time turning up and stuff. So we uh, just turn up, drinking and stuff. And then next thing you know, I see uh, I see Flo now. So Damn, we just get into know, it like that? Niggas already know we don't, we don't, fuck, we don't fuck with bro. It, it is what it is. You know, everybody know that shit. The situation that went down and happened. And to clarify shit, niggas went to the internet first and said, fuck us. So if it's fuck us, then nigga, it's fuck you. And then shit, that's just what it is. You feel me? Yeah. But what happened last night and shit, how I got this big ass fucking, what you call this? A gash. Fucking a gash. A gash. I got this big ass gash above Two my eye. Two inch deep. Two inch deep is because shit, I got hit in the head with a bottle. You feel me? A female, a random female hit me in the head with a bottle. But I'm about to explain how that shit happened. So uh, first I seen, I seen Flo and some niggas. Uh, they peep in the corner and shit. They trying to see what's going on. Boom, boom, boom. So they go back, right? So I, we keep turning up and shit. Like, we know what's going on. You feel me? We ain't dumb. Um, so, yeah. So we keep turning up and shit. But I'm on 10 already because I already know it's niggas there. You feel me? So my whole move went from just turning up, having fun with my people, enjoying my birthday to, you feel me? We own that. So the niggas try to walk back. So I say shit in the back. You feel me? I guess they had another section in that club. Where well, they section was on the whole other side of the club, y'all. It is a whole wall barricading us with a door. In order to come to our section... Not Jazz just came in and started. Okay. <laughs> you would have to walk all the way from your section, come through those doors, and walk all the way to the back. All the way to the back. You, you did me? that twice. That's antagonizing. You feel me? You're like, antagonizing like we've someone been, on we've, their birthday. We, we've, been, we've been playing this big role. <laughs> You're antagonizing this, this someone role, on their birthday. You feel me? This whole time. You feel me? Y'all haven't seen not one of us go to the internet when that shit happened, talk down on nobody, say anything. You feel me? Or, Say no do, weird so shit. So no weird shit. Because, bro, I'm not running to the internet about no nigga. You feel me? If I post something on Instagram, I'm not posting nothing about no nigga on Instagram. You feel me? I'm, I'm not doing that. You feel me? We're going to handle that shit in person. Um, But, yeah, so that's what happened. So, yeah, they peep the scene and shit. And then they start walking back there, like, laughing and shit. Just trying to be funny. You feel me? Like I said, I don't know if niggas boosting their head up or some shit. Uh, I got to say this real quick. Now, I don't know if... um. Jordan and Jazz realized that when y'all made the post with the TikTok that that was antagonizing Flo. And I also don't think they understand that when they made their video together, it was like ganging up on Flo. So I, I got I to gotta be honest. Y'all already did enough, especially Jordan, because Jordan was talking real greasy in the video. I'm like, damn, Jordan. I had no idea he was so gangster. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute now. Uh, you know how he was saying things. It was it was a little aggressive, you know, and maybe because he was feeling some type of way, whatever. After that, J. Lone came out and was like, I, I, I was going to beat that nigga ass. I was going to beat that nigga ass, honestly, because uh, he was feeling some type of way about him hitting Karina. So I just want to put that out there. It wasn't a case of them not saying nothing at all or whatever. Nah, y'all, y'all helped with that. Like I said, we keep playing this this big person role and let shit slide in and shit like that. So I guess niggas using that to boost their head up or whatnot. So we we all in the section where everybody on we team, don't know, everybody knows what the fuck going head. on. 
A me. woman, a woman hitting him in the head. Not even. We just keep watching. Turn up having fun, right? So I see niggas walk back. I see niggas walk back to our section, like walking back to our section, smiling and shit, right? So I ain't gonna lie, like I'm just on ten because this shit been. I feel like this shit been going on too long. Like, what does niggas keep fucking with us for? You feel me? And it's not even fucking with us, like like fucking with us. It's just like, like just playing with us, just testing us, just keep poking us. You feel me? And Niggas trying to make this shit. First of all, we YouTubers. You feel me? We content creators. Something had transpired, and that nigga's not part of the team no more. You feel me? Niggas trying to turn this shit in, into some other shit. That's number one. And it's that already. You feel me? So, huh? when niggas walking back to the section, I'm trying to get over to them. You feel me? Because loaded in front of me. Uh, all my, I'm, my my back is against the wall. Jazz beside me and and some other people. You feel me? I can't tell exactly. You really, me and Sierra. Yeah, you and Sierra. Was I was just trying to get enjoyed in it and like just chill, bro. I know he was drunk, a lot of emotions, anger going. I'm like, you know, just trying to tell my brother to chill out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm in his head. I'm looking in his face. I'm like, bro, you got a lot to lose. You have a daughter. I was telling him you got so much to live for. You have a daughter. Like, just calm down. Give me, like, give me ten seconds with you, bro. Cause you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get in his head. Like, give me ten seconds. With everybody else, they just trying to let him loose. I'm trying to get his head. I know my brother was drinking and having a good time for his birthday, which he deserved. I'm not, so I'm not saying that um, Flo didn't say whatever first. I'm saying that they said something back regardless. So we can't say that they didn't play a part at all. We can't say that they wasn't petty at all. We can't say any of that. Although Flo did say something first. I'm just saying we can't say that they didn't do anything back. So we can't act as if they didn't play a part at all. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all I'm saying. It was a part that was played. Birthday. And that's another thing. Like, bro, I really try to enjoy my birthday because I feel like I go hard for everybody. You feel me? I ain't trying to get off track and shit, but I go hard for everybody. You feel me? And I was trying to just have a good time for my birthday. So that's the thing that made it worse. They like, nigga, we ain't do shit. I don't know what y'all talking about. We ain't, we ain't been petty. We ain't been doing nothing. It's like niggas so, playing with us for my about. birthday. You feel me? Y'all see us turned up. Y'all see our section packed. Y'all see the motion we having. You feel me? Y'all y'all want to keep poking at niggas. You feel me? So... Shit, I was on that, you feel me? And I was just trying to get to niggas and shit. And then, so, look at this. So, it's a wall behind us, right? I couch, so the sections is like couches. Just, yeah. They're couches, right? So, our couch is facing that way. And they and then, there's another section behind us with girls and niggas and shit. They couch is facing that way. So, um, I guess somebody told Loaded, like, come outside. So, Loaded, go outside, right? Like, he, he, he going outside. So, everybody, like, starts saying, we got to go, we got to go. So shit, I'm trying to hurry up and run up there. I step over, but I fall in a section, right? Like when I say I feel like on the couch, I feel in a sitting position. Yeah, you did. You so in sitting position. I feel in a sitting position. So I'm looking up, you feel me? There's a lot going on. I'm, I'm drunk and shit. A girl in my face, yapping, yapping, yapping. So I I'm rising up, right? I'm mean mugging her in the niggas because. Not mean mugging her in the niggas. <laughs> my attention is not on her. Like I don't even know this bitch. You feel me? She all in my face. I understand. I just fell in a section. Y'all see how the dog look when he said bitch? Yeah, so I, I'm rising up, right? I'm mean mugging her in the niggas because my attention is not on her. Like, I don't even know this bitch. You feel me? She all in my face. <laughs> the dog look like, what the fuck? I'm like, understanding. I'm, I'm sorry. Feeling they sexy and shit, but she all in my face. So I'm rising up because I'm still trying to get outside. So as I'm rising up and I'm mean mugging her in, in the niggas, like, as I'm walking backwards, you feel me? Because I'm facing them. As I'm walking backwards to turn away, a random, a random bitch just came and hit me. Boom. How the hell she hit that boy standing up? Like, he's standing up, she's standing up. Now, granted, I know it's some tall women out here. I'm just saying. Um, that's crazy that that girl did that. Like, what? Why? <laughs> I have so many questions, and I'm going to ask them now. If they wasn't hosting that party, matter of fact, I don't know if they were hosting that party. But when I think of hosting... I think of, I got the mic. Yo, it's your boy Jordan up in this mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ dropped the beat. Ow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, DJ dropped my shit type shit. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't dropping the beat, or if I ain't got a mic like Krishan had at Tamar concert, or if I'm not making a bag off this, I mean, they don't even have to give them bottles. These niggas got money. You know what I'm saying? So, why are we promoting where we're going to be? You know what I'm saying? And I know that's the 30-year-old in me, but I have to ask, what would we be telling every? Why would we tell everybody where we are? You know? He had flyers. I'm aware of that. 
But why did we have to tell everybody where we were if they said they had a section? This is not my party. This is a section. You know what I'm saying? So why are we letting everybody know where we are? I just, I want to know that. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And shit, my shit start gushing. So my shit start gushing, but I didn't feel it because my adrenaline is pumping and shit. And I'm trying to get outside. I'm trying to make sure jazz. It might have been club everybody promo. In my mind, got- what am I promoting the club for? Like, we already got money. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we up. Life is great. They talk about it all the time. We got motion, whatever. Little nigga, you know, niggas call it these days. So, boom. We got motion. We got money. We can afford bottles. We can afford whatever. Uh, I'm just letting y'all know, a.k.a. the club, I'm getting a section. You know what I'm saying? Before my birthday. Why the hell I got to tell everybody else? How they promoting the club if they in the back? I don't, I don't understand. And for the club to even allow them to do that, which is going to cause an issue anyway, because... If everybody know where you are, I mean, they don't know who like them and don't like them. They literally don't know who fuck with them and who don't, but they do know Flo don't like them. So Flo would have known where they were. Flo could have came in and did whatever, right? Why would we tell Flo where we are? I, I want to know. What and my cousins, my is, family, the, the see them loaded outside by itself. Niggas telling me that. So when... What, what you saying? Inside, to get people to come to the club. I Friend, I don't think y'all understand what I'm saying. If I ain't making no money off the tickets, or excuse me, if I ain't making no money at the dough and I ain't making no money at the bar, I ask you again, what the fuck am I promoting it for? <laughs> I don't, I don't, what are we promoting it for? I, well, all right, that's my last time. When it was happening, when that situation was happening with you, it was only literally me, you, and the security in there, and the mark. Um, before she hit you with the bottle, she threw liquor, like liquor. Like yeah, I didn't know that shit. Liquor got thrown first because it hit me all in my fucking face. Mm-hmm. So then that that's like when I, I got ten. I, I pulled my pants up and I was like, bro, what the fuck? Because nigga, I was calm trying to keep Jordan calm, trying to defuse the situation until all of that happened. Who's bro. on live now? Until the liquor got thrown and hit me in my face. It hit Sierra. That's Tell when me. I see it. Sierra started getting on 10, trying China. to fight all the people with us on 10. My girl, security just picked me up back. and pushed me and Amar pinned me to the wall. Like I said, if it wasn't for Amar and security, my nigga, I, don't, I probably would have been in jail somewhere. Amar pinned me to the wall because I started like just seeing red. I started flashing out. Oh, yeah. Cause now this bitch that hit me with liquor and, 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 and I was and just these, trying these, to get, I was just trying to get Jordan up. And these random bitches, y'all, like these, like we don't, we don't know them. We trying to get outside to deal with the shit we dealing with. You feel me? Like we trying to deal with the niggas we dealing with. So you, you good? Yeah, yeah. You good. So so when the bitch hit me with the bottle, I guess I just start gushing. But as I'm gushing, we getting pushed out. You feel me? Yeah, and I'm just, I go, I just go in shock. Like you feel me? As I'm just gushing, all I could do was just like stare at her type shit. Like I would just point at her because my cousin came up to me. He was like, "Nigga, who did this? Who did it?" Boom, boom, boom. So I'm just pointing at her. I'm just pointing at her because like, like literally everybody's getting pushed out the door. So yeah, I, I'm trying to go back. I'm I was trying getting to push, bro. That's the only reason why I was getting pushed out with you. He was right in front of me. Mm-hmm. I'm watching you leak. I'm like, get him out of here. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Jordan, face. But his adrenaline was pumping Getting so hard. He really like, out of control. So much I absolutely blood. hit somebody with a bottle before, but it wasn't like a Hennessy bottle. It was damn sure a Corona bottle, though. Had me fucked up. Yeah, they, they was trying to jump me in the club. It wasn't about to happen. But see, I did the same. We, I was 23, 24. You know what I'm saying? And when you drink liquor, your blood flow rushes faster. So he was leaking. I, I couldn't even see his, his eyes no more. Mm-hmm. His shit was covered. I'm like, get him out of here. Get him out. The whole time, Lamar telling me, like, calm down, because they arrest them motherfuckers outside. Mm-hmm. They arrest them motherfuckers. You got to calm down. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to, like, okay, let me get back on a little bit on point. Let me let me cool down a little bit to help Jordan. We get outside. Yeah, I got to understand. It's three different situations going on, bro. It's me. I got hit with the bottle. So I'm gushing blood. I'm, they, I didn't know how much fucking blood I was gushing, but they said the shit was covering my whole so face. That shit was coming so... That shit scared me. That shit looked like a movie, bro. They said Dang. they said it was so much blood that, like, when I was at the hospital, they, they asked if somebody get shot. So I, I guess that's... That means that's yeah, a lot of blood. That's on the phone. Was it a gunshot wound? But uh, it was three, that, so I guess it was that's three a different lot. situations going on at one time. I'm getting hit with the bottle. I'm, I'm coming outside. They carrying me. Uh, Cause I fall out, you feel me? Like I'm losing too much blood, so I go unconscious. So I just drop to Damn. the ground. So they dragging me and shit, and they That's loaded crazy. over there. With, Why I would guess, that girl do that? And he ain't even hit you. I don't. Guess he about to fight floating and shit. That's crazy. And, um, oh yeah, this another thing. So Jay Long told me specifically because Jay Long was trying to, from from what I heard that Jay Long was trying to defuse the situation. He told Flo and I'm like, hey, he t- he told Flo and I'm like, uh, hey, nah, uh, it's good, man. We just trying to have a good time, moving with this and that. 
and uh and Flo was like, all right, or some shit like that. And then Jay Long was saying, like, uh, like y'all acting like we some green-ass niggas. Because this whole time, bro, y'all got to understand, bro, this big person role we've been doing this whole time, not going to the internet, not going back and forth with niggas, bro. We got so we got too much shit going on, bro. We got real motion. Niggas trying to do real shit, you feel me? So we just pushing this little situation away, you feel me? Like, I understand y'all want us to go back and forth. Y'all love this drama shit, but we're not going to get into we were, We're not trying to get into all that, you feel me? So... What was I saying, Twin? You were saying about how Jay Long said we oh, yeah. green ass niggas. Yeah, yeah. So, so Jay Long said y'all think like we ain't, we uh we some harmony, green ass boy. What? But the thing is, you get hit in the head with a bottle. I mean, the, the nigga passed out. He couldn't do nothing. So I guess Flo, yeah, Flo said some shit like y'all is. So Jay Long, from what I from what I heard, Jay Long hit him, and he ain't do shit. You feel me? Nah, they locked her up, I believe. So they both went over Jay Long, hit him, they both got put in handcuffs. Yeah, they both they got They put Jay Long in handcuffs and they put Flo in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. And then they released him. Mm -hmm. And then they, and they made Flo and his posse leave. Yeah, type shit. But I heard, I, I heard yeah, before they got put in handcuffs, niggas ain't do shit. So all this narrator shit and this shit, y'all trying to make a nigga seem like he really forcing shit and he getting us touched, man. There's, bro, that shit is not happening. Ain't no nigga getting shit touched over here. You feel me? Especially not floating. Ain't was, no nigga getting touched. There's scenes going on with Jordan. While that's going on with them over there, people getting locked up trying to fight, loading on them. Jordan is all the way over here on this side, gushing blood, having an asthma attack, having an anxiety attack, having so much. I'm in his car rambling, y'all, looking for his inhaler because they're screaming at me that he cannot breathe. I'm just I'm on the phone with Jazz is upset. 911, screaming, cussing them the fuck out. I called them twice, saying, get here, get here. Mm -hmm. They they asked him what's the address. Thomas, we already got an ambulance on way. It's already been two calls here. We get here. He's he can't breathe and he's gushing out blood. He's losing more blood by the minute. Yeah, but I love him. And then when I'm on the ground, they they trying to take care of me and shit. I'm dizzy. I'm spinning and shit. Damn. All I hear is and then all I hear is sea scream. He got hit real bad. Nah, that shit was damn near sound. It sound like life threatening. That's the third situation. That's, that's that's third situation. All I hear is Sierra screaming. My the mother, of my child. So. All I hear her screaming, I see people start running and shit. So I just get up. I try to get up and run. Boom, but, they, but they grab me. When they grab me, they put me on the ground. They put me on the ground and they put me in handcuffs and they were just telling me to chill out. But they telling me to chill out. But nigga, I'm trying to make sure the mother of my child is straight. You feel me? It's already so much shit going on. There's niggas there that we don't like. You feel me? And it's just so much yeah, shit going on. So I'm trying drunk, to make so sure he's bleeding good. more anyway. I hear her screaming. I know everybody. Everybody's see, with us. I'm trying to make sure was, everybody's with us. Sure even good. though I'm fucked up. I was with C. And when I, I grabbed her and I got a hold and I grabbed her and I grabbed her and I pulled her all the way to the back of your car. Mm -hmm. And I was telling them boys mouth be dry as hell, boy. I said, listen, see, I can't, I can't, I can't lose both of y'all right now. Might be that riffer. Jordan already hurt. I said, y'all got a baby. Somebody got to be up at Kinsley. But both of y'all can't be fucked up and get put in that situation where you flunk out to lose your position right now. Because mm -hmm. y'all got yeah, something fact. to live for. Mm -hmm. And this whole time. And, and the whole time. just wanted to get to the girl, bro. And, so she just, and, it, and it just wanted to see her. We had, it was a few of our female friends trying to get to her. Mm -hmm. But they had already locked her up. Yeah, because he unconscious and in and out pose. Crazy. But child, you know that key. You ain't got no weapon, huh? But he hit her with the bottle. Because it's assault. Mm -hmm. You can't do that, bro. That shit, shit crazy happened, but um, damn, bro, I was about to say some shit. Uh, damn, I lost my fucking train of thought, to him. What, which, what were we talking about again? We were talking about just see out there and when you, you was hearing her uh, yelling and screaming, oh, you yeah. was trying to get up. My, my fucking head hurt. Yeah, but, my nigga uh, head hurt. It's good, bro. But yeah, so I was hearing her, hearing her screaming and shit, bro. I was trying to get up, nigga. I was just trying to make sure everybody good, but at the same time. I guess they like they were saying I was like I don't say freaking out but I was hyper well, ventilating. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that damn blood you and shit. Blood. And you absolutely drunk. drunk. Oh, oh, this was gonna say. So this was gonna say. It came back to me. This whole time, the whole time. All right, so when they first walked, like was trying to was walking back to our section and shit, and I was trying to like hop up and and, and get on that. You feel me? Jazz was just saying real shit like nigga, we got shit to live for, nigga. We really doing shit in life. But when this and that, saying real shit, but at the same time, the only thing in my head is like, bro. Like niggas keep picking with us, and this the and, second time this and this happened. The, and this the second it time happened it happened. Like two weeks ago, and yeah, this is this is the second incident that happened. The first incident uh, that happened, niggas want to go to the internet, bro. I'm not going to the internet for no nigga. I'm not giving nigga no clout, no views, no nothing. That's what niggas want. But niggas, they like, love that shit. Poking at somebody, short poking at somebody. Yeah, yeah, like I don't, I don't what understand. Do you, what do you expect? Are y'all going to pop out every time somebody having an event, or we post a flyer to yeah, go out somebody? Like, nah, stop posting a flyer, the flyer, bro. Like. Real shit. If y'all ain't getting no bread from that club, and for real, for real, whether you getting bread or not from the club, y'all know where y'all make y'all main bread at, wherever the fuck that is. Uh, it's not worth 
everybody knowing where y'all at. I feel like that's the most dangerous thing you could do to this day. And honestly, I was thinking recently about um, throwing parties. I wanted to start throwing parties or throw. I just want to throw my own event, honestly. And um, it it did. It dawned on me I, the type of reactions I do and things like that or who I'm becoming or whatever you want to call it. Because it don't matter. People be mad at people for doing pranks. I used to do pranks. They be mad at you for doing fake pranks and shit. <laughs> like, oh, my God. what People act like they really want to hurt you, right? So why the hell would I tell everybody where I'm at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, unless I'm getting paid $50,000 in an event. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling how much the club was paying if they was paying because it sounded like they paid for their own section. So if I do my own event, I'm going to have two big-ass security, probably three. To the three big ass security guards with me for so many reasons. A, I need a gun in a club. That's number one. Probably still had me had me one anyway. Uh, but two, um, if anybody try and fight me, I don't know who got a problem with me, but they know Flo got a problem with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and a lot of people, how they're posting their location, they come shoot up your spot, shoot up your events and things like that. So an event right now for me just ain't safe. You know what I'm saying? Especially to tell the public where I'm at. You know, invite only and hit different. You know, even um, A&P do invite only. And their events always be fine. You know what I'm saying? But they know who they're inviting. You know, so I do something like that. But they don't need to keep telling people where they are. That's just not. And if they did have security, how in the hell everybody be fired? Because how the hell I get hit in my head with a bottle? Uh-uh. Crazy. Are you going to try to pop out and antagonize somebody every single time? Because they I had security. Wrong. Ain't no way in hell I'm getting hit with a bottle. If you seen me fall, you were supposed to be there to pick me up. You get what I'm saying? Now, if we got, if, uh, with all of us, it's three security guards. No, everybody should have their own security guard. And I know niggas think that that's overzealous, but is it? <laughs> I mean, do you do you actually want to live to spend this money or do you want to die in the process of knowing that you got it? You know what I'm saying? Everybody have a security guard. Everybody got money to pay for a security guard. You hear me? Especially the birthday boy who was the drunkest and obviously the one who's a little more hothead when he drank. Because clearly that was his whole thing. Flowing them, keep walking back and forth. That alcohol intensifies that. The lighting is dark. You know what I'm saying? Like... And you feel like, since we got so much motion going on, I'm about to show my ass. Not only that, he's a man. That's what men do. You know? I absolutely would have had a security guard with me. Anything happened to me. I need you to make sure you pick my ass up if I fall. That's number one, nigga. Don't let me fall. You get what I'm saying? Like, girl, I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm being real. I'm being 100. I'm not trying to be on camera and be extra hard and shit, bro. I'm just being 100. I'm just being real. Ain't no nigga stopping us from doing shit, bro. You feel me? Like, we going, if we want to go have fun, bro, we're going to go and have fun. You feel me? And that just is what it is. We don't go out looking. We got too nobody. much motion going on for real. We got real life motion. If somebody posts their birthday event, I'm not going there just to get a section just to say, hey, we here not too. Now I'm already we looking at Krishan's Snapchat. Do that. Yeah, I'm not competing we with no that. niggas. We're not competing. At all. Ain't no competition always sees us. There's no com competition with us. It ain't no competition with us in them. I ain't going to lie to you. It ain't. But, uh, I'm but yeah, so all that transpired, bro, in, in the title. Why Krishan already showing her coochie? I'm sorry. Niggas getting shit touched, bro. Ain't nobody getting shit touched over here. I got hit by a female, by a random female that had nothing to do with the situation. She didn't know about, nobody of their group. She wasn't with nobody. them. That wasn't their homegirl. So y'all. Jordan just had got into it with her in the middle of him being drunk. And, you know, everybody drinking liquor. And she mm -hmm. decided to hit him with a bottle. And the, and the thing is, when I fell, when I fell into the section, y'all, when I fell into the section, the first bitch was in my face, right? So she was uh, saying shit. I'm just mean mugging her. I get up. It's another, She didn't even hit me with the bottle. It's another bitch just came and cracked me. Boom. So that's a... That's a and that's when I started grabbing Sierra security started pushing. It was just so much moving. There's so much happening so fast. I didn't even know Loaded was outside. Yeah, they said Loaded... Doing that, doing J -Mo, I didn't know nothing was outside. Yeah, they said Loaded went outside, yeah, they say Loaded went outside by itself because they, they them niggas told Loaded, like, come like, on. Come so, out, come shit, on Loaded hopped on that. You feel me? So They told him to come outside and Loaded decided to go outside. I swear, that's some... Boy, in your 20s is probably one of the most dangerous 10 years you could live out this bit. <laughs> For real.
If a nigga walking by today smiling at me, I wouldn't even know you smiling. I ain't gonna care. <laughs> now, however, I do keep my enemies closer. I do. I keep my enemies closer. I would know, but I don't give a damn about you smiling. I don't give a damn about none of that. Just don't touch me. Don't touch me. But that's 30-year-old me. 20 years old, yeah, I would have been hot. Would have. I would have probably went outside, but damn, loaded. <laughs> that's when, so when, I guess, so that's what happened. So At least when, take the group with you. They told Lily, like, come outside, type shit. So Loaded hopped up. I guess Jay Lonely hopped up. And then that's when everybody was like, come on, y'all, we got to go. Boom, boom. So then that's when I tried to hurry up and catch up and get up there. And I, I, I fell into the section. And then, boom, I got hit. And that transpired. That's good. That it girl should not have hit him. That that's ridiculous. We had Jazz family there. No reason. We had my family in there, nigga. Everybody just there celebrating, celebrating my birthday. But we Bro, like, it was a nigga's time. birthday. All my nigga wanted to do was have a good time, y'all. We've been moving all week, working um, hard, getting shit out the old house, trying to get our new crib together. All my nigga wanted to do was enjoy his birthday. Y'all could have pulled that shit any other time. Y'all just seen a nigga out random or something. But y'all gonna wait till somebody drop a flyer for their birthday, come to their birthday celebration, and antagonize them. <laughs> And get them out of character for what? When you know people are drinking and having a good time, people are just here to celebrate my niggas. See, at first, y'all, we was at first we was sitting back like like laughing at this shit. Like we ain't taking this shit serious. You feel me? Like like I said, we got real shit going on. But niggas not about to keep poking at us, y'all. You feel me? Yeah, like they kept staying there and standing there, and smiling and <laughs> yeah. looking and just smiling and looking like like, like what, what it what is, nigga. Like, you feel me? You know that saying? <laughs> Why not be pissing twenty year olds off? You know that saying? Uh, you wouldn't know they was looking at you if you wasn't looking at them. <laughs> I used to fucking hate when my daddy said that shit. Why you know they was looking at you? Nigga, I got good peripheral. What you mean? <laughs> my peripheral got 3D vision. You hear me? My peripheral, see the old, the over here, okay? Boy, I used to be so mad when my daddy used to say that shit. But keep your enemies closer. What do you mean? That's why I was looking. Fuck. <laughs> but nah, for real, you wouldn't even know for real. <laughs> you wouldn't really know, you know what I'm saying, if you wasn't looking at them. But yeah, it's just, just a joke. But yeah. I mean, like, like what it is, niggas gonna say Everybody's something. Like, wrong. What? You're gonna say something, you're gonna keep it moving. Like, you feel me? And niggas know mutual people. You feel me? So it's not gonna be the last time um, niggas see each other. You feel me? So I don't, I don't know what the fuck this but shit is. But like, on some real shit. Okay, so even if niggas do fight. Are you supposed to fight a nigga every time you go out and see them, bro? That's like, come on, bro. Do know me. Everybody gonna be over the age of 25. Like, come on, bro. Mm -hmm. like, so you see a nigga every time it is, bro, sometimes you gotta wash your hands some shit. Even niggas do end up fighting. I can feel well, niggas okay, wash your hands when they keep it moving, like, bro. Like, nobody not gonna sit there and be and, on that. And this shit, ass, and and this shit all, ass, unnecessary ass and this shit all time. because a nigga wanna, wanna be, the, be his bitch up. I'm being 100. This all because the nigga wanna be his bitch up, put our brand in jeopardy. You feel me? And we have to act on it. And and all this shit transpired, man. So, I mean, I just wanted to come in here and tell y'all what really happened. You feel me? Since I seen, I guess, people, niggas trying to get views. They trying to get their views. No we were T-pages. They don't have no real shit, story me, No real. They just be trying to push Nobody it together. Nobody was there that night but us. No. I feel y'all. And that's why I stopped reacting to YouTube shit. Because it ain't no story. <laughs> First of all, I've never been the one to create one, neither. Now, I will react to the ones that do create one, but, hey, it is what it is. But, nah, I, I, I've never been the one to create no damn narrative. However, what they got to understand, and I'm telling y'all this from, that, from this side of it, stop putting shit out. Sierra shouldn't have never posted that shit. Period. How the hell would Tea Room, because I know it was Tea Room. I ain't even got to guess. I know it was Tea Room. How the hell would Tea Room know anything about it if it wasn't posted? So they got to understand, as soon as something is posted, you done gave somebody ammo to talk about it, period. So now, niggas got to assume, <laughs> Sierra set us up. Why? Also, females, and now, hold on. I don't blame Sierra because Sierra was mad at, well, Sierra should have been mad at that girl who hit Flo, I mean, not Flo, god damn. Who hit Jordan in the head with the bottle and shit. But that had nothing to do with Flo. Definitely, um, if Sierra didn't post, I, I just feel like nobody would have known. But it was going to come out regardless. So it's just like, girl, whatever. Nobody. <laughs> nobody um, I don't think they'll ever understand the T-Page side of things. 
A T page cannot post what you don't put out. If y'all don't remember nothing I say, a T page cannot post what is not put out. Always check the women phones when some shit happen. Go to Sierra. Sierra, don't you post this shit, bro. Don't post this. Other girl, whoever the other girls are, the, all the girls, don't post this. We not posting this, okay? Now, if Flo posted, it is what it is. But get y'all women in line now. And Sierra, don't come for me. Don't come for me. All I'm saying is you shouldn't have posted it. If you didn't post it, T-Room wouldn't have known. I, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Y'all got to understand the T side of it if we all going to be on the same page. Because we are on the same page, which is YouTube now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Don't check on a nigga but us. But, but Stop but acting my people. like y'all sleeping and eat with us, bro. Y'all don't. And I, know who, and I know who's there, and I know the niggas that left the scene that's supposed to be with us, all of that shit. You feel me? But it's good. I'm just coming Honey in to tell you what we have. At the end of the day, ain't no nigga getting nothing touched. So that <laughs> narrative, I don't know. Y'all got to stop running with that shit. And yeah, I got hit in the head with a bottle. But I'm shaking back, you feel me? My, it hurt. But so we good. good. He good. He, he good. He gonna pop them BC, smoke a wood. And you good. feel me? You feel God me? gonna do the rest. Yes, sir. We up. Ay, 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 ay. Hey. This is next. But, um, Yes. I just want to say, all of us got one job, and that's to post what's going on. I know for some reason, all the YouTubers don't understand that, and that's okay. Without blogs, nobody knows what the fuck y'all got going on, respectfully. Blogs were created to spread the word about what y'all got going on, a.k.a. free promotion. All right. When we all put out a video, what do we put out? A click baited title. Why is everybody acting like this isn't the same job? You know what I'm saying? Why is everybody acting like we're not doing the same thing? That's number two. Number three, when you post what the hell you got on your mind, what you got going on, what you got. Blah, 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 I want to know, do any of y'all think they're going to post my shit? And you know what? I don't even have to wait for an answer from y'all. Because even in your videos, you know what y'all say? The T-Page is going to post this shit. <laughs> the T-Page is going to post this shit. <laughs> it be all giggles and goggles. You know what I'm saying? Until y'all do something wrong. So when it's good, y'all want that free promotion. When you done done some shit wrong, you don't want nobody to talk about it. Y'all, that's not how that work. We are all on the same page. We are all putting out clickbaited titles. We are all uploading to the same fucking platform. And we are all doing the same damn job. Period. <laughs> Y'all better get that shit together. Ain't no way in a hell a T-Page can exist if you're not putting out your business. Like, for real. I just, I'm sick of the victim shit. I just don't understand. Like, how in the hell is, uh, are they able to put out whatever the... Uh, Cause you provided the information. Are you serious? Okay. When something is good going on, y'all want to be posted though. How is it that you can be posted positively, but when you do something wrong, it's a negative. Suddenly it's a negative. I'm speaking about what's going on. It's instantly a negative. That don't even make it a negative. It just means I'm talking about how you did something wrong, but I'm also talking about how you did something good. Period. I just, <laughs> I'll never understand, okay? Now, T-Room will piss you off. <laughs> that damn T-Room will make, I think T-Room got the best titles on YouTube. You hear me? T-Room got everybody ass in a chokehold. I know that bitch be behind her, <laughs> not behind her camera, but I know she be in her house uh, relaxed. <laughs> In her house, relax, saying whatever the fuck she please, okay? But she got the right to do so. If y'all put that shit out, she gonna talk about it, period, okay? So I just wanted to put that out there. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. I don't have beef with none of them. I always react to the good things that they had going on. I mean, from the beginning to the end of whatever the fuck happened. If that was a relationship, if that was a, a job, if that was whatever, I always reacted to the good, but don't think I'm not going to react to the bad. Now, that's just contradictive. Like, y'all be tripping. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.